Hello and welcome to this video on estimation. Now what estimation is? Now what estimation is, is having a rough idea of the result of a calculation. And we don't want to have to do some, and we don't want to have to do lots of long multiplication to work this out. It might be that we're out and about and we've got these figures and we want to quickly multiply them out and we want to quickly get a sense of what the value is. And the key with these kind of questions is just to first round each number to one significant figure. So let's just take this first question. We've got 2.03 times by 197. Now, if we round each of these to one significant figure, remember to round to one significant figure, you just look at the first non-zero digit, and then you just check the digit after. Is that greater or equal to five? No, it isn't, so the two stays it is, and we discard any further digits, so that's two. And then what we can write is this symbol here, and this symbol means approximately equal to. And let's do the same with this second figure here. And let's do the same with the second number here. What's this to one significant figure? Well, we look at the first non-zero digit. We check the next digit. Is that greater or equal to five? Yes, it is. So that one goes up to two, and anything after it gets replaced with zero. So it's 200. Now, what is two times 200? At that point, we can easily just do it in our head, and that's going to be 400. So that's roughly what 2.03 times 197 is, but we've managed to do it very quickly and in our heads. What about two? We've got 48 divided by 9.73. Now that's approximately equal to, well, what's that to one significant figure? Well, using the same method, it's going to be 50. And what's that to one significant figure? Well, using the same method, it's going to be 10 and then 50 divided by 10 is equal to five. So this is roughly five. Now where it gets slightly harder is where we're dividing by zero point something. So if we have 6.13 divided by 0 0.48, what's this approximately equal to? Well, six is just six to one significant figure. Well, 6.13 is just six to one significant figure. Well, what about this one? Well, the first non-zero digit is the four. And as always, we check the digit after. Is it greater or equal to five? Yes, it is, so that four goes up to five. So we have 0 0.5. Now, what happens when you do six divided by 0 0.5? Well, 0 0.5 is just the same as half. So what we're asking is how many times does half go into six? Well, half goes into whole twice, so it goes into six 12 times. So remember, when we divide by a half, we actually end up multiplying by two. So this becomes six times by two, which is 12. And what about this last one here? We've got 4.2 times by 2.79 over 0 0.21. So let's round each one first. Well, 4.2 is just four to one significant figure. 2.79 is just three to one significant figure. And 0 0.21, well, the two is the first non-zero digit. Check the digit after. Is it greater or equal to five? No, it isn't, so that stays as 0 0.2. Now, four times three is obviously 12, so it's 12 divided by 0 0.2. But what is 0 0.2 as a fraction? Well, it's a fifth, and when we divide by a fifth, that's the same as multiplying by five. So it's 12 times five, which would be 60. So be very careful when you divide by a decimal like that. Another way of thinking about it is if I was to multiply top and bottom this fraction by 10, then that becomes 120 divided by two, and we can see that 120 divided by two is just 60. So that might be a slightly easier way to do it.